welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Poyu, and in today's video, we're going to discuss chaining methods together using pandas. And so I'll begin this video by showing you code that's technically correct and probably what you might see as a beginner programmer or maybe even intermediate. But if you want to get to that advanced and maybe even expert stage for data processing, uh, you will want to start thinking about how you can chain methods together to make the, the code a little bit more efficient. Uh, look a little bit more pandas or pythonic let's get started and so here in the notebook i've got uh, a few things i've already set up so i'm, I'm reading in some uh, iris data we're pretty familiar with this data set um, and so I, I read this in i then uh, change the the species column to target so here instead of it saying species it says target i show the first five rows I then create a new variable called pedal prod, where I multiply pedal width times pedal length, and I produce a new column and show the first five rows. Next, I set a new data frame equal to DF2, where I have now pivoted the original data frame um, based on the target column. And I now have a, a wider data set that doesn't look very well structured. And so the next several steps are gonna be around restructuring this to make it more easily plottable. Next, we set a new data frame where we unstack that data, we reset the index, and because of this, we need to rename this level zero, drop this level two column, and then rename this zero column. So we do that using the rename where we rename level zero to feature and zero to value. Next, we drop level two columns, and then lastly, we map this new, um, we map the target column with the CMAP to produce this new column called target color, all so that we can make this plot here. And so these steps aren't too complex, say for maybe these the last couple, uh, but this is the idea that now we can sort of chain these methods together instead of having a bunch of new data frames we're creating um, in a way that's very inefficient. And so let's create a, a new view for this notebook and I will walk you through um, all the steps over here and then how we can just build a chained method together. So let's build our chain. What I recommend is wrapping the entire uh, chained method, all the chained methods in uh, parentheses. That way you can easily cross lines and, and not be an issue. So we have DF and the first thing we did was I'll, I'll skip this read, although we really could start at this line here, but I'll start here. The first thing we did was uh, rename. And so I will copy this statement here. And you see now we have this, uh, this original data set. If this might look a little weird because this new dot method is on a new line, but that's the, the point of the parentheses. We can now cross that line easily. Uh, let's just do that. Um, the next thing we did here was do is do this. So what we'll actually call is the dot assign method um, where we can just call the column uh, pedal prod and that's going to equal. You see, we now have created this new column. Um, the next step was to pivot. And so we will write pivot and uh, columns equals target. And we are now again, creating this entire system using a series of chained methods. We want to then unstack. The next step was to then reset the index and then rename our columns. So if we look at what we've got so far, we've pretty quickly in a very concise way gotten back to the original data set if we just you know just show that um and so the next step was to then drop this level two which we can do pretty easily because this produces a view of the data we do need to establish a new uh variable and so we're going to call this df1 and we can set df1 dot uh, target target color equals to df1.target.map cmap. We look at df1 here. 
you see we now have the original data frame we had when we created this here. The last thing we need to do is actually just call this plot method. And now in a single cell, in a very concise way, we've recreated our original uh, data transformation uh, using, again, a more Pythonic, more pandas oriented way where we're chaining these methods and we're only creating new data frame variables when we need to. Um, and this will really help to ex uh, sort of put you in a more advanced or even expert level uh, user level. In the next video, I'll go a little bit further into this idea of chaining methods, where instead of just relying on pre-built pandas methods, we will actually work on building our own methods that we can put into this chaining um, approach, but using pipes and pipelines instead. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.